Hey everybody, Seth and Christopher from the Crawl Space here. Today we're going to discuss a band called Hope Through Grace. We're going to do a quick reaction video for you. Uh, they're on Instagram at Hope Through Faith or Hope Through Grace Band at Hope Through Grace Band. And they are a London metalcore band. They have a song out that released in December. And it's a it's pretty heavy. I really like it, and we'll get into it here. And uh, they have a lyric video on YouTube, and they also have it, the song on Spotify, which we'll be playing here in the background. Um, so you might want to add them on Spotify as well. We'll put the links in our description. And without further ado, here we go. This song is titled "Opinions Will Be the Death of You." That was a heavy tune there from Hope Through Grace called Opinions Will Be the Death of You. Hmm. What'd you think there, Chris? What are your impressions? Well, I mean, uh, I could definitely hear some metalcore influences in and out, especially in the beginning of the song. And as it moved into the melody, uh, I could, couldn't help but... Uh, Here's some sludge influences or the <laughs> brooding doom metal uh, uh, yeah. genre as well. But the I think the big thing that stood out to me, uh, the band, uh, the vocals especially, uh, are reminded me a lot of the uh, the band Crowbar. Uh, it's a band that uh, uh, came out uh, from Louisiana, came out in the 90s, but they're still creating music today. Uh, kind of an underground uh, metal band that uh, has been pretty popular over the years. So I got didn't, that feel uh, through didn't it in the Phil, uh, Wasn't Phil Ansamo involved in them from Pantera? Like, or he was a big fan of those guys. I know that in Down, yeah. they probably played a lot yeah. with them. But yeah, I love that kind of sound too. That, yeah, they, the, the doom, sludgy, yeah. uh, but the yeah. vocals really hit that for me. And then even, uh, even the vocals 
kind of leaned a little direction on uh, a Fear Factory came to mind too, uh, with the yeah. vocals, uh, not as maybe as as heavy or distorted, not but heavy, just yeah. the, the depth of the the vocals yeah. had that flavor to me. So yeah, yeah all in all, it's a great great yeah. song. I thought it um, jammed too. Yeah, the breakdown was was nice yeah. as well. To me, um, some of the bands that came to my mind or influences were like, uh, there's something about them with the, with the chops that reminded me a little bit of Helmet, like early yeah. Helmet. Oh yeah, definitely. And uh, and even and then some of the, just the influences and mixtures of there was something that was maybe it was the, kind of like the repetitive echoing part or something, in the song, but it reminded me of like uh, Static X a little bit you know some oh, yeah. influence there it's really cool because you can tell just like with all music there's influences from everywhere and but these guys you know people have then they have their own take on right. their sound and i thought it was pretty cool i thought the guy's vocals i really like the vocalist and the um the uh, songs are you know song was heavy and when the when i got the email from the guys in the band they mentioned that um that uh, their newer stuff is going to be even heavier with more drop guitars and stuff like that so it'd be really cool to hear what these <laughs> sure. guys are going to do in the future yeah definitely i think my my final thoughts are i was glad that i mean i think the songs and the length of songs uh, that's been debatable for years um i like that it, it's kind of was to the point wasn't too short wasn't too long um and uh you know, looking forward to seeing what these guys put out to see, you know, the production and the uh, um, just the experience of having this under their belt, uh, like yeah. to see good things from the band. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And like you said, you know, length of songs are debated. I mean, I think that some people kind of like, you know, that older school, longer, you know, four minutes to five to ten minute songs. songs. You know, I mean, those are cool for what they are. But in this day and age, there's just so much music to listen to. And I know, I think it was Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day said that, you know, any song that's more than three minutes is to him. He can't really get through it because there's so much to listen to and he wants to get through all the songs. And I, I kind of agree with that for partially, you know, if songs get longer, that's cool. But <clears throat> I know that, you know, in our, our music and Mango Carpenter, our deathcore stuff, it's obviously, you know, grindcore's got a lot shorter songs. Technical death metal stuff is a lot longer, but kind of like the mixed, keeping things around two to three minutes, yeah. you know, and just, but, you know, I just like to experience a lot of different stuff. So it's like, I, I thought the song's length was, was good. And yep. um, so again, everybody wants to check them out. Go to, on Instagram, Hope Through Grace Band. And on Spotify, Hope Through Grace, find the song, uh, follow them, add them to a playlist because that's what helps spread the word from these independent bands and these guys right. are again from bristol and london they're a metalcore band and uh that's all the thoughts we have today on this quick shout out and reaction video for the crawl space yep catch you on the flip side crank it up <laughs>